It's very, very different to hold it. It's one of the most different things to hold it. very much. You have as one of yourself. Hey, well, that's right. Second chance okay, so summer. It's a brilliant, First of all, it really tugs at your heart. So it's the material. Are you ready? Here we go. And the music is so beautiful. It's powerful. It's resonant. It's piercing. And it really touches your heart. I'm going to read out the name. For some reason, like a lot of us Irene in the company, Paris, 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 we miss the musicals so much. Uh, and we, we want to have this opportunity to revisit the game. Right after. Because like Paris, Paris, there's a need to be able to experience this kind of material again. Uh, something that talks about hope. And Paris, a lot of us are sort of in the of these days with what you know, what, what's going on everywhere else in the world. You want a love and, uh, and I know I love that it's about overcoming adversity. Uh, I love that it uh, celebrates one human one. agency We've in that it's it uh, celebrates a child's Maria. imagination Maria. and fighting spirit. And then I love that it asks the hard question. Why is hope? Why is cancer? Why is God? Why is this? But these are things that people often forget to think about because they're so caught up in their everyday lives. So parang this is a nice sort of like para a coming to terms with these things that are important to people and just that they often kind of forget about it in light of everything that's happening. And uh, parang I love na uh, we get to revisit it because we're not the same people anymore. So obviously, even there is a new perspective that is coming into the program, right here, both of the cast and the creative team is working on the show. That's uh, maybe the performances are more lofty, but at this time, we're seeing a lot of things that we omitted or that we neglected to investigate before. Because again, para we were starting out, para we have something to prove to the industry. There are a lot of things that if this movie that occurred to us, but now we're giving it the kind of time, the curiosity that it is. And we're finding that there's so much about the material that has changed. And we're excited to, for audiences to see that. What are the changes or the uh, you know, breakthroughs that you're going through this year's meeting? Well, definitely now we're having talk back after every performance. So that's one. Second, there will be a strong multimedia aspect to it. Because before, we really celebrated the black box concept of the material. That, uh, we tried to get away from too much tech and too much production value. But rather, since this show started like in French theater, para we wanted to bring that to RCDC. But now this time we're we're blowing up Andorra's box and now we're going really wild with like um, with staging, with scenography. We're working with a lot of visual artists who will be providing the mission scene for the show. Um, and yeah, of course we have different artistic team this time. Para we have Stephen Vinyas for choreography, and then now the the para the direction is to make use of found objects or things that you'll find on stage to sort of give birth to all of the imagination sequences. So uh, that's something that's definitely new. Um, and then uh, Faust, who did her set, Faust Pinero, who did her set before, is now also doing costumes. So parang now, uh, we're giving an agency to sort of go wild with how he uh, depicts the various forms of wrath. Because um, Lawrence Martinez, William Mendoza, they play 20 characters in the show. <laughs> oh, oh, so um, before it was like a combination of like physical theater and just like costume accents, but this time para we gave uh, agency to Faust to sort of go wild with ideas. Um, so yeah, we're very excited in how it's all gonna come together. And we also have live, live film if that makes sense. We're doing live filming on stage. So there's like a lot of like multimedia elements that are gonna be in this version of that. Uh, what about the cast? Uh, the cast, I mean, did uh, audition, they pass audition, or you just selected it? Oh yeah, well the original cast, of course, we asked them to return. Mm -hmm. And then we auditioned for the new cast. So Julian, uh, Felicity Kyle, and Daniel, they all auditioned. And yeah, we had a re really good turnout this time around. <laughs> 
<laughs> before we hadn't announced our theater company yet, but we had to audition already, so we couldn't say that our theater company was auditioning for this show. So, like, the inside joke of Rebecca Coates and Luigi was like, it was the shadiest audition <laughs> that they showed up to because I was like, which company is doing this? What show is this? So, like, definitely now, like, uh, the, the turnout is better and the, the show has a following. Um, it's sort of, uh, it, it garnered critical acclaim back then, so parang now, like, a lot of people want an opportunity to come and uh, join the production. So, so yeah. Uh, it's uh, it, it is different this time around, and um, it's nice to say we're going to be more kids, such as the not so kids anymore. Nakatawa. Uh, when you're in the mall, um, are you going to tour or outreach program uh, or not outreach program? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we have some promotions that are happening um, uh, in Child House and also in PGH. Um, and also, we are going to be having uh, an auction slash art exhibit where the artworks are for sale, of which all the proceeds go to um, Chad House, one of our institutional partners. So we try to inject as much of the CSR into the show as possible. Uh, and this is a perfect way of doing that, not to mention the talkbacks, which really raise awareness about mental health, pediatric cancer, and even about the laws that have been passed in support of the sector since then. Uh, so I thought I invite everyone to watch and of course, um, San Pogba Preserve and Yes, uh, so tickets are today available on Ticket World. The show is running from August 10 to September 1 at the Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium in RCBC. It's every, it's every uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but not all Fridays have performances. So it's best to really follow us on social media, The Sandbox Go on Instagram, and The Sandbox Collective on Facebook. Um, they can also just log on to the Ticket World website, and all the tickets should be available there, and you'll see all of the show dates. And yeah, it, it's a, it's a must-see. Don't wait till the last minute uh, before you watch it. And it's worth watching more than once because you have two casts and it's completely different. It's alternates palang eh. It's like you have kids and then you have adults. So it's gonna be a different show with both sets. And sometimes we'll see them mixing a little bit. Oh. 